so first of all okay. before starting up the conversation we would like to know about your feelings how are you feeling i am feeling great uh-huh. like i um, actually one week before i text you but i thought that time you haven't seen my message my email okay yeah i was suffering from fever for last one week uh yes. still i have little bit now you know weakness uh, i am taking medicines but yeah now i am in that i am on the terrace <laughs> so <laughs> like it must be i think in approaching yes little bit okay 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 so uh, as you know since we are meeting for the very first time so i would like to know about you sir uh, my name is apkari akhtar mm-hmm. uh, i am from bihar aurangabad okay. and uh, right uh, this year i have completed my graduation and i take my ad- admission in masters in igno and um, mm-hmm. while this like uh, last two years i am i have been struggling in english and communication skills mm-hmm. like now i am also work so hard like i listen a lot youtube videos your videos also mm-hmm. like all the conversation yes mm-hmm. yes that will make mm-hmm. you you know grab the knowledge gain knowledge and then speak confidently you have to like you mentioned you listen to many people in many conversations simultaneously try to speak to many people okay whatever you are learning try to share with other learners that will boost your confidence yes okay yes hmm. and uh, second thing i would like to know what is your pride and joy what what is your hobby what do you do in your leisure uh, time okay so like my hobby is hobby is painting uh-huh. i love to paint and i love to listen to podcast like many content oh. and english speeches especially uh-huh. okay and That's also good. like watching movie series sometime lovely. lovely in which language do you watch uh which language basically english and hindi both both okay. okay and for english speeches do you follow uh, any particular uh, celebrity or uh, are you inspired by some while yeah i like i am inspired by priyanka chopra i was getting this i was just trying to guess this name because yes, i also guess like, like she is a, she is really inspiration and like her way of speaking talking everything and also she motivate a lot uh uh-huh. yes her every sentence is like relatable different kind of feel mm-hmm. and it it uh, you know directly touch our feelings our mm-hmm. thoughts and, mm-hmm. and she is also very speech. ambitious person yeah. yeah yeah and people like us can relate who really wants to do something in their life they need that kind of motivation yeah yeah that's great okay so so okay. i was asking about your movies like what kind of movies do you watch so mm, i love thriller movies and mm-hmm. comedy comedy wow mm-hmm. so uh, which one uh, the movie that you watched last last uh, i think drishyam dream girl too Dreamgirl, <laughs> not uh, Dreamgirl two. Last time I watched this. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dreamgirl, like Dreamgirl two, like it is in theater now. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh huh. So, are you planning to watch that too? Not yet, but yeah, I'm thinking. Okay. Have you watched okay. it? No, no, but uh, maybe in some days. As you know, I'm yeah. not feeling good. uh yes, nowadays yes. next time on going anywhere and mm-hmm. even though uh, you can see in the session also i'm not that much active <laughs> because of the less energy yes okay so um, do you watch series uh, serials also um yeah park dramas sometime and uh, series 
mainly on netflix on netflix and amazon prime okay in but order not to all series in order to enhance my english mm. uh-huh. like mostly i watch uh, youtube videos in order to enhance my english like there are many conversation of clapping go and english yari yes and uh, like many animation stories and short stories mm-hmm. there are many things and also like but they are like, uh, her videos is also good like alina rai's video yeah yeah she you know speaks in very uh, she uses in very normal day to day words and easy to understand yeah right but there are many uh, series also available on netflix which uh, will help mm-hmm. you to enhance your day to day english Actually, like you know while watch uh, okay speak so while watching also when we are watching and listening at the same time we get the right meaning of the action when they use the word so do you watch series yeah i like not yet but yeah before like one year like i watch lot of series Okay. but i prefer to more videos and because they only uh, talk to like they both when two people are talking like it is more beneficial and in series like there are many thing like stories going on and there are many pauses so mm-hmm. this happen yeah but yeah, yeah it's like in movies there are a lot of phrases and different type of thing yes yes so uh, can i know like how uh, when did you exactly start speaking in english speaking english mm, actually last 2 years from 2021 like i like i started my english journey while listening and many thing but i was not consistent from this year like i make a plan okay this year i have to be fluent and i am mm-hmm. working on it like i also joined one um, english club one like uh, it is paid session they provide and there i got many friends and like i am still talking to you have to be very consistent with this journey as you yes, mentioned yes, i still listening to many people every day but you are not talking every day right but i try yeah yeah absolutely okay. okay so uh, i would like to know how do you uh, motivate yourself all the time like how do you maintain yourself like can you pardon okay i was i was asking how do you you know get motivation or how do you keep yourself motivated throughout this journey like okay. while in english so my motivation is simple like i have to um, like i want to become english trainer <laughs> and i have to do this and uh, for motivation i watch uh, some of the success stories of many people uh, uh-huh. many celebrities mm-hmm. and they are like they are enough for me yeah exactly and you know as you mentioned your aim is to become a language trainer so uh, you must be working uh, every uh, parameter of this language so what kind of major hurdles you are facing in your way while speaking in while speaking english yes right? okay so basically i have some problem in past tense ah uh, okay like like vocabulary problem also like i, I know a lot of the vocab because of the network issue i didn't catch your first problem related to past but can you repeat actually first problem is related to past tense and mm-hmm. the second is vocab problem mm-hmm. like i know many vocab but when i use it like i can't use it properly mm-hmm. so Okay, so these two major issues which you are facing, mm-hmm. and so sometimes we... confidence also, but okay. not every time. Like I am working on it, but mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so what are I you am doing in order to? I am little shy person. Uh-huh. Okay, so what are you doing in order to overcome these problems? 
uh, first i like uh, from one week i was started to mirror talk like i talk to myself in front of mirror mm-hmm. and uh, and i record my own voice and i like i listen to in a repeat in a repeated time to or three yeah very excellent technique that you are using which really helps and uh, you know continue doing the same thing be consistent with the same practice okay it will help you you know uh, i guess we haven't talked much yet in yes. between some because of the network issue and all but any other day we will also connect so i was asking okay. one more thing that you mentioned uh, sometimes you feel lack of confidence too. so have have you talked to anyone like any youtuber or any co learner on a video call no no it's your first time yes ah oh, okay so in order to overcome that fear remove the fear or nervousness you should talk to many learner on video calls okay okay i'll try yeah yeah and when you are participating in that group uh, how do you guys uh, participate like on audio calls uh actually on zoom meeting on zoom meeting hmm. so uh, maybe video call is also available there, right video call is available but um, like we are on audio call mostly time okay you like there uh, are many students are also there uh okay Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So, uh, how do how like which technique do you find best for yourself? Like speaking in front of mirror, speaking to someone, or recording yourself? Which technique is best for okay, you? Okay. So first, I talk about like listening. Like I really improved through listening because first I know, like I know myself. Like I don't is speak a single sentence like mm-hmm. clearly but while listening i feel more comfortable in words like i can listen a lot like for hours and um, yes. i don't get bored by it so listening improved me a lot and while conversation it also helped me because mirror talk and this recording thing like um, i recently started so i don't know about it much but the yeah, conversation helped me a lot mm-hmm. like from last 3 month i am doing conversation with my friends okay after so, yeah. watching the mm-hmm. videos you do conversations mm-hmm. with them that's it and uh, uh, as you mentioned you watch a lot of podcast also right uh yeah actually one podcast is bear biceps very famous as you know yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, there is one channel named amalgam mm, no i don't know about it i think you don't yeah so that i watched mm, so great, great. Hmm. yeah that is great and you know you can do one more thing whatever you watch when you like something like any podcast you like right and you uh, got a lot of new words so okay, they are using these advanced words so you can revise you can watch that particular podcast three or four times which will help you to learn and recall words easily so the first uh, when i started this journey english journey that time i was not sincere like i have not this thing in my mind that okay i have to learn i means i was only learning for um, like to convey yeah, your thoughts just say ha huh, just simple and um, for jobs also basically okay. and when but when i started learning i like i feel so happy and like i love this language and uh, i wanted to make i wanted to make career in this so that's why ha huh. and i really love conversation between when two people i love talking and so mm-hmm. that's why i decided that okay i have to like i want to be this and yes. if you love something and you can find it find any time for it like not if i was some day i was very busy and okay i find 10 minutes at least for it maybe half an hour 
so i'll find myself a time yes a time Absolutely. for myself sorry it does it doesn't bother much then right if you love something if you enjoy doing the same thing every day it doesn't bother much and it doesn't require and also much. it uh, like when you do something for a long time it become your daily habit yes uh, yes, yes. and if you don't do this you feel little like something is missing and you have to yeah. do this <laughs> yes yeah yeah i can i can totally relate with that point and, and i am uh, i am doing my masters in history so like i have to do that also but yeah i love english more mm mm-hmm. okay so you spend much time with english rather than history Mm-mm. okay great one more thing that i want to know like is there any one quality in you or habit in you that you have to replace and in uh, in that particular you want to you know inculcate or incorporate a new habit in yourself any but can you please repeat like any bad habit or anything that you don't like about yourself and you want to re- okay. replace it with a good one Okay. So, okay. Let me think. <laughs> yeah, like there you? are many habits. Uh, okay. Sometimes. Uh, like when I was, like when I'm in angry, I. Mm-hmm. Um, I can hurt people. Like I tell anything. without thinking too much so okay you can so when i am in angry like when i am angry i can um, speak anything without thinking thinking too much like mm-hmm. so this is the bad thing in me mm-hmm. that like i i am little moody person also like when i am in good mood i like i am very uh good with everyone and when, and when i'm not in mood yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah we can say like a, a kind of a short uh, temper are you a short temper um little bit but not too much mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay okay so uh, how you are thinking you are going to replace this habit okay so it um, actually it's only in mindset so yeah. i have to make this thing in my mind okay like um, just uh, be calm and <laughs> yeah take time and like don't be process. angry so i yes. will like with little things yeah absolutely and uh, you can read you can start reading some books related to mind related to actually reading is not very like it's not my cup of tea. like i have many books i read but i don't enjoy a lot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. start with your interest like be that is based on yes. your on your own interest mm-hmm. which can mm-hmm. you know make you which can grab your attention mm-hmm. i want to read self help book because mm-hmm. yeah there are a lot of books uh-huh. they are interesting also and uh, we really feel motivated while reading yes. it yes yes so any book have you read like can you tell the name of any book yes i have i read uh, a kite runner thousand splendid sun and mm-hmm. some autobiography but at autobiography i don't like much but uh, i bought it only for to gain my knowledge but i don't enjoy much and okay. yeah but uh, kite runner and thousand splendid sun like it is a great book okay. and uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, some. Are you reading also, any book recently? The recently, like I have one book, Untouchable. Ah. Oh, okay. By Mulk Rajanand. Uh huh. Great, great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there any question that you wanna ask? Hmm. Okay. So, like from. where you started your journey like in which year like how long you take to reach this level it's been a year 
uh, this practice I have started in August 2022, like last year. Before that, I was just reading and a uh, little bit, and I was listening to podcasts, listening to conversation I was doing, but I was not speaking at all. I was speaking only in my mother tongue because I was I was at my home for two years during pandemic. And I was talking to my family members only and in my mother tongue. So I was not speaking in English at all. I have started speaking in English in 2022, August 2020. So if we can say it is, it's only been a year. But you improved a lot, like in one year. Yeah, I'm trying my level best. Because at the same time, you know, I want to get the fluency. I want to become the exceptional english speaker at the same time i want to help others who are struggling who are learning that's why i just try to you know learn as much as i can and when i improve as much as i can yes yeah like and what happened with us like i'm in my home and there is no one like um all other they are speaking in hindi so I like it feel a little awkward to speak in English in front of anyone. Yes. yes so yeah. Yes. So that's yeah, why I don't yeah. try too much. But try online, you know. Uh, nowadays, virtually you can do anything. You can, you can as you already uh, should, uh, you know join the group. So that's good. And otherwise, you can talk to many YouTubers too. Nowadays, you I guess you are aware of them. Like how can I connect them? How you connected to Just, me? Okay, so I have to mail. Yes. Okay. Some people have shared their numbers too, so it is easy. You can uh, message if you are comfortable to share your number with them. You can message. If not, then you can just mail them. Okay. Yeah, there are really nice good speakers of this language. They will connect to you and you will get, you know, the different ideas. You will be able to connect to different mindsets. And it will boost your confidence too. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. yeah. Anything so I else? think I'm an intermediate level of maybe below it. What do you think? Intermediate, yeah. Intermediate. We yeah. can call it intermediate. Uh, yeah. But... And the pace is good. Pace is really good. You know, many people have this issue. They speak really fast. They mess. They just, you know, scatter their sentences here and there. And this. Uh, they don't even speak for consciously. They speak and there like, is one thing in me, like when there is no one, when I'm alone, then I speak more good, like more fluent. Yeah. And there is someone yeah. who is like around me, then I feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it happens initially. And when you once you complete 20 or 30 sessions with other learners, then you feel the same way in that too. Like when you are talking to other people, you will feel confident. You will be like, okay, I'm speaking good English. It happens initially because you haven't started yet to talking to anyone. It, as you mentioned, it is your first time that you're talking on a video call, right? Yes. Yeah, so it happens nowadays. Okay, so uh, we have to wind this conversation up right here. It was really nice talking to you. You are really nice. Yes. And sweet. But the one problem is network issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will connect uh, yeah. every other day too, okay? Because I was not fully active, I guess, during the conversation because of the weakness. <laughs> but yes. yeah, any other day, I will try. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Bye bye. Okay. Have a great day. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. And take care of yourself. Thank you.